Australia has a very small but rapidly growing space industry. But until today, there was no official government policy on space. It was launched today with a showcase of 14 space research projects funded by the government's stimulus package to the tune of $40 million. How we use our satellites, how we invest in a satellite capability and space policy generally is something that will always be a part of our future. But if you are hoping for rockets and space probes, you will be disappointed. Uh, no Aussies in space anytime soon. The world's got lots and lots of rockets and uh, uh, that's not really the issue. It's making use of the data from space in a coordinated and sensible way. But other industry experts say it's a missed opportunity. There's a gap coming in the ability to look at the Earth from space. Where is that data going to come from when those gaps grow? The policy doesn't really address that. It's called the Australian Space Utilisation Policy. The key word there is utilisation. It's essentially aimed at utilising equipment that already exists. Australia's space industry probably isn't going to involve any rockets or sending people into space, at least not in the immediate future. What it will involve is taking the technology that other countries have produced and already have out there and using it better. There are also concerns that the policy could force young space engineers offshore. Students come to me all the time and they ask me where can I get a job to work in space and I have to direct them to the EU or to the United States or to India or China. But others say that's not the right way to look at it. Because a car industry can't sustain itself in a market of 20 million, uh, what hope do you have with a satellite industry or space industry except in very niche areas? Business from satellites could pump up to 12 million dollars into the economy by 2030. Sam Iken, World News Australia.